what is learning analytics learning analytics is the measurement collection analysis and reporting of data about learners and their context for improving the teaching learning process let's understand the application of la using an example of a problem faced by teacher in a classroom yes being a teacher i am very much worried about my students i am able to understand each one of them even at the beginning of my course but whatever the strategy i apply to improve their performance it works for some students and it does not work for the others and sometimes it does not work for anyone at all and if i decide to adapt new techniques on them the course gets completed before any change happens this is the main issue that i am facing now and i do not know how to overcome this now let's see how we can use learning analytics to tackle this problem the learning behavior of the students in class give a lot of information including their attendance their test performance and their assignment submission behavior in this learning analytics tools course we'll teach you how to exploit this information to find out what went wrong and what went right we'll teach you how to use machine learning algorithms to predict the future and to design effective teaching strategy for better learning outcomes welcome to learning analytics course i am ramkumar rajendran i am the instructor for this course by now you might know that this course is about applying analytics to improve the teaching learning processes like in other domain in edtech domain also we can produce lot of data and we are producing lot of data by interacting with moocs interacting with learning management systems like moodle blackboard and also by interacting with technology enhanced learning environment like computer based learning environment or a personalized learning environment or you no know, intelligent tutoring systems so how to use this data to improve the teaching learning process is the primary goal of this course in order to achieve this course first we will start with what data can be collected and how to collect this data in environments like uh, you know classroom uh, learner management systems or moocs or also in the intelligent tutoring systems or technology enhanced learning environments the next we will see how to process this data in such a, such a way that it can be analyzed for you know use for analysis in a tools like uh, excel or orange or weka so the second step is data processing and uh, you know using the data for analysis then we will talk about some tools uh, which will be used to do the diagnostic analytics like uh, proem that is a software to do the process mining or uh, sequential pattern mining and isat these are the tools you know we can use to uh, mine some patterns from the log data and also to visualize Uh, we also talk about uh, ml algorithms uh, like linear regression and decision tree but the the aim of this course is not to teach ml algorithms instead it is about you to introduce to these algorithms in abstract way in finally uh, we will talk about how to use these data so that we can improve the teaching learning processes hi sir hi i am pretty much excited about the course but still we have some doubts is coding language important for this course Uh, the coding is not necessary for this course but if you know python script python coding that will help you to extract your own features so if you don't know coding it's okay you can take this course okay and does the knowledge of advanced mathematics required uh this course we don't uh, really expect the you know uh, the students have the advanced mathematics knowledge uh, if you know basic statistics and uh, the class 10th level mathematics that is enough to understand this course okay sir I want to start learning machine learning algorithms. Is this course suitable for that? Um, if you want to know learn machine learning and understand the mathematics behind the each algorithm and want to know about the each parameter how to improve those uh, performance of algorithm, I don't recommend this course. Uh, you can take uh, other good machine learning courses in NPTEL. Uh, this course is for someone who want to do a basic CNML. and we want to use the data and apply the ml algorithm to improve the teaching learning processes so i already have some basic knowledge of ml algorithms and some uh, knowledge about data analytics will the course provide me some data or for analysis um if uh, if i already have a basic knowledge ml that is good 
but this course is not going to provide you the data for your analysis instead what we will do in this course is we will try to explain you how to collect data and what data to be collected in a different learning environments so if you are looking for data from this course this is not a suitable course okay. so thank you everyone thank you thank you sir